And jo joining us now is Fox Weather's Brandy Campbell live at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. And Brandy, again, just such an active and, and scary situation over the last 24 hours. That's right. This is one of the locations that saw a lot of flooding as those storms really stalled over this area yesterday, trapping a lot of people here at the airport in more than one way. Just not the flooded roads, but they could not get out here via airplane. In fact, the airport announced just over an hour ago that all operations will continue to be shut down through tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. And right behind me is one of the main reasons why. So if you take a look at this airfield, you can see it's almost like a lake out there. There's a lot of water out there. They also said that they're trying to clear some debris as well, working to restore partial operations on one run on one of their runways as well, uh, as long as the current conditions do not worsen. Because as we know, we do have more rain on the way uh, later on today. So at this moment, we have a lot of folks who are here at the airport. Uh, I've talked to a couple of people telling me that they're just going to make their way away from the airport. So if we take a look over here, we can see the folks who are just waiting here uh, on the second level. This is where people will be coming in to leave the airport. So a lot of people with their luggage ready to leave outside of the airport, though, guys. There are still some roads that are unpassable or have some flooding. Uh, a lot of cars that are just stalled on some of the streets out here in Fort Lauderdale. I met one guy, Christian. He was actually cleaning out his vehicle, just trying to get what, you know, as much water out of it as he could. Uh, here's what he had to say about taking this threat that passed through yesterday seriously. Being in Florida, a lot of times we take for granted, essentially, uh, kind of the weather and the elements. And, and, you know, in fact, a lot of people make a joke out of it. And clearly there's damage that can happen. Uh, and this isn't even the worst case. So I would say take it serious. And, you know, if you think that there's a chance you not, might not be able to to get home safely, then just don't do it, you know, and just find another alternative. All right, very good lesson learned and just really good advice for folks going forward because this is really historic for this area. Over 25 inches captured at a weather stem uh, system here at the airport. That was in a 24 hour time frame, guys, but the city announced their system here is only really able to or handle three inches of rain per 24 hour time frame. So if you think three inches of rain is what they can handle, but they got 25 in some areas, it's pretty crazy and it shows being that we still saw flooded roads this morning and again this airfield behind me still has water sitting as well. Kendall? I think Brandy that is the most striking image right there behind you just looking at the airfield and you said it best it looks like a lake and unfortunately not good news we do have more chances for showers and thunderstorms coming into the forecast later on this afternoon. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.